Hi lovely fire signs, welcome back to Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is your intuitive guided reading for the week of the 26th of February through till the 3rd of March and I hope you like it. I love reading all your comments and thank you so much. If you wait till the end of the video you will get your own personal message. So what's happening with you guys? I don't know, you're feeling tied down for some reason. You've done everything right, you've got your angel wings here, but you're trapping yourself. But this is just a mental thing. So this is about looking at things differently, having a different perspective on things, because you're blocking things from coming in uh, because of the way you're thinking. And that thinking is stale, old thinking that probably comes from something that's happened to you in the past. And covering it too is the Seven of Wands. So I would say in the past, look at this. You've had things go wrong, you're feeling blocked, and now it's time to break free. They're saying it's, it's the right time now. So the Seven of Wands is all about um, not giving up. You're nearly there. So even though you've had a lot of shitty things happen in your life, now it's time to break free and go forth and, and achieve what you want to achieve. Sevens are about overcoming that fear as well. So don't give up because whatever it is you're trying to do, you're nearly there. Because the Wheel of Fortune is here. This is all about the wheels are turning. Everything is fated. You're just about um, your dreams and things that you've been wanting to happen are going to start happening. Go with the flow. Go with the wheel because things are changing. And then you've got the Hanged Man. And this is where you've been looking at the different um, ways of doing things. You've been making sacrifices. You've been working really hard. But they're saying, and you haven't been getting the results that you wanted, so now they're saying, hang on, look outside the square, look in a different direction, and then you'll get the results. Then you go on to the King of Cups, so you've either got some nice person around you who's very kind, caring, um, very, very intuitive, this can be you as well, but this also represents where your emotions in the past might have been going up and down and up and down, um, you know, and so now they're saying, hang on, your emotions are stable, you've got everything organized, you feel practical, you're grounded, your intuition is back, follow your instinct because they're really, really good. Because you've got two choices this week and I feel it's to do with your home. You've got the two of wands here. So this is where you're trying to make up your mind between like two houses, two jobs, two courses, two, two trips away, anything like that, two cars. It can be for some of you where you've got one foot in your old world, one foot in the new world, and you're trying to make up your mind. So this is where you're weighing up your options, and some of you are talking to your angels and guides, Tipuna, to um, help you and guide you. And then you're going to need some time out. So you've got the hermit. This is where um, by the end of the week it's like you're ugh and you need some time to yourself, you need that time out, and when you have that time out too, and sit quietly in nature somewhere, like lie down at the beach, or sit in a garden, somewhere, something like that, so that you, somewhere where it's peace and quiet, so that you can get your thoughts in order, but also so you can hear your guidance and message coming through from your um, loved ones, or angels, or whatever, because I feel that, that information is to do with relationships, and to do with the house or the home, this card is representing blessings for relationships, blessings around the home. Everything's organized. could be work, home, but it's balanced. It's a four. Everything's balanced and organized. It gives you the freedom to do other things and be who you are. And for some of you too, it's like happy marriage and th as well. But for you singles, it's also having everything balanced. The reminder about a four is don't get stuck in working too hard because you can end up boring. Get out and have some fun. Okay, so your exhaustion is coming to an end. So whatever you've been working on, you're now going to see the results. You're going to see the harvest coming in and um, and then you'll be able to rest. But just be careful you don't hurt your back. This is a card of, oh God, you're so tired with whatever situation you've been going through. But now they're saying it's dead, done, dusted, over. It's finishing this week. And then you're going to be feeling quite contented. There you are. You are being quite resourceful with your money. Um, you're starting to reap the rewards, some of you, for all the hard work that you've been doing. And that's the end. And then you've got the world. So it's the end of a situation. Here's your old life moving off into the background. And here's your new life, the beginning of something new. You're on a new adventure now, a new chapter in your life. You've got information coming in slow and steady that's going to help you grow. Um, and then you've got the uh, strength card. So from all of this situation, you're going to be very, very strong. 
you've got then the moon card. So this is where your intuition is great. You could be overwhelmed with choices, overwhelmed or disillusioned about a situation too. But it's time to break through that and follow your own instincts because you're going to come up with new plans and new ideas this coming week. Okay, Leo, what do you need to know? <laughs> Stay home. Your energy and inspiration are scattered in the wind like fairy dust. Time to stay home for a while and focus on getting some things accomplished. Okay, Leo. And then your angel message is, peace is just a thought away. So you might be feeling a bit scattered and a bit worn out because of the things you've been going through. So now it's time to get some peace and harmony and leave the um, decisions or the work up to other people. Okay, Sagittarius, you have got... Have fun. Don't just be alive. Dance in the garden of life. If you're not passionate about what you're doing, do something else. Explore, play, and have fun. Isn't that a gorgeous card? That's beautiful. So that's a lovely message for you, Sagittarians. I know someone who needs that. Here's your angel message. Sometimes what you seek is as simple as being still and staying focused. Okay? Hopefully that means something to you for whatever you're looking for. Okay, Aries, you've got Luxuriate. Oh, rest and rejuvenate. Give yourself the gift of free time for yourself and do something that you would love to do. You deserve it. So Aries, off to a spa, off to the beach, off for a walk in the bush, off bungee jumping, if that's your thing, go and do something fun and something that, or something that you've been wanting, luxuriate, get a facial, get a nice head massage, do something for yourself that you deserve, okay? And your angel message is, sometimes, oh, isn't that funny? Sometimes what you seek is as simple as being still and staying focused, exactly the same thing as what Leo's got. So time to relax and go and do something that makes you feel really, really good because you deserve it and you need it. Okay, lovelies, I hope you have the most amazing week and I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.